The business of managing a flight in today's modern airspace requires a great deal of planning and automated tools to aid the users in their tasks. Airlines have tools that provide information on the status of the flight that are needed to keep their operations running smoothly. Accessing the latest information about their flight, the national airspace, and the latest weather are needed so they can request flight changes that provide the best path for their business needs. Air navigation service providers also have tools such as in-route automation modernization, commonly known as ERAM, and time-based flow management, or TBFM, tailored to meet their specific needs. Unlike the airline's tools that are designed for their specific operation, these focus on the safe and efficient management of all air traffic. As advanced as they are, the airline and FAA tools don't communicate with each other directly today. Even so, it is generally accepted that collaboration when making decisions reduces the impact on both airlines and the FAA. Aircraft spend the vast majority of their flight time in the in-route airspace. As such, the automation system that controls in-route airspace has become the focal point for air traffic services. ERAM processes thousands of flights a day, but as powerful as it is, the implementation of NextGen's System-Wide Information Management, or SWIM, will make it more powerful. SWIM will allow the dissemination of information to all authorized users, including airlines, making their automation tools more powerful in the process. Once everyone has the same data, true automated collaborative decision-making will become real. Today, ERAM has a look-ahead capability to assess all of the flights in the system looking for conflicts in the future. These conflicts are reported to controllers so they can make strategic choices to minimize airspace congestion. Today, aircraft fly on routes defined by navigation aids on the ground. With NextGen, aircraft will be freed from these constraints using satellite navigation. More direct route structures will be used to improve flight efficiency across the system. With implementation of the flight object, SWIM, and another next-gen program called Datacom, changes to flights will be disseminated quickly, accurately, and efficiently to all interested parties. Decisions made by operators and other control facilities will lead to more efficiency for the entire system. Today, aircraft are sequenced into streams with little knowledge of the traffic around them. They descend and turn when cleared by the controller, who uses surveillance data and automation to maintain separation and safety. Next-gen capabilities brought by time-based flow management, interval management spacing, and automatic dependent surveillance will change the way airplanes are flown. Pilots will be given target speeds based on all the traffic destined for an airport, and when they arrive in the terminal area, will be assigned a flight to follow. Using onboard equipment and the GPS position signal from the front aircraft, each airplane will be able to establish and maintain the proper spacing between arrivals, reducing the need to make airplanes wait in the holding patterns or take drastic speed reductions to fit in to the arrival stream. The flow into the terminal environment is now smooth, with continuous descents from high altitudes all the way to the surface. NextGen yields more capacity, more safety, and more efficiency for aviation stakeholders. The end result is more flights taking off and landing on time while accommodating operators' preferences. The system has improved efficiency and situational awareness for both pilots and controllers.